My name is Maggie Simmons. I'm 18 years old and I've lived in the same house, same neighborhood, and same town for as long as I can remember. In the backyard of my house, there is a swing set that was built 15 years ago that still stands strong today. I'm sure many of you had the same exact swing set in your backyard. It has a yellow slide, a once functional rope swing, and a rock wall. The three swings increase in distance from the ground, starting at red, moving up to yellow, and then to blue. I'm the youngest of two older siblings, and they would always take the yellow and blue swings because those were higher than the red. I was always put on the red swing, the lowest, because I was the youngest. My dad would stand behind me and help me push while I tried to pump my legs as fast as I could. In my younger eyes, the yellow and blue swings were the cooler swings. I would go to bed every night hoping that I would grow up big and tall so that I could go on the higher swings and pump my legs all by myself. We have all gone through the red swing stages of our lives, constantly being sheltered by our siblings and parents. We relied on them to take care of us and give us a little boost on the swing from time to time. Having an older brother, I would often try my best to keep up while playing tackle football, but that never ended well. Despite being told no, we managed to dream big, get in trouble, and depending on how big our dreams were, sometimes we fell off the swing. After we fell, we learned from our mistakes and managed to get back up and continue to bring in creativity, our vast imaginations, and excitement for learning into the classroom and into our lives. Then we moved on to the yellow swing stage of life. It was that weird time where you wanted to hang out with the cool older cousins instead of being forced to eat at the kids' table, but nonetheless, we were still sheltered from the real world. This stage for me, personally, was filled with braces, rubber bands, and obnoxiously large bows from Claire's. A lot of us knew each other during these awkward middle school years. Growth spurts, voice cracks, and so much more. Don't you miss it? From having our moms drive us to Deer Park, to doing the cha-cha slide at the 8th grade formal and rollerblading around the gym for middle school PE, we've all seen one another grow a lot throughout the years together. Finally, the coveted blue swing stage of life. We could pump our legs all by ourselves and make our own decisions without the constant need to ask our parents and siblings for help. Throughout high school, we were challenged by our teachers, friends, and family. These challenges pushed us to become better people and students. Although it might have been hard at times to understand this while staying up until 4 o'clock in the morning to finish that English paper, these moments have taught us valuable things, not just about procrastination, but how to become successful students. It goes without saying that our class of 2020 will always be remembered for our strength, patience, and resilience. We're a group of hardworking, charismatic people that are ready to make a difference in the world. Whether you were an athlete, an artist, a performer, or ended up in the yearbook pictures of 20 different clubs, your involvement in Barrington High School, no matter how big or small, did not go unnoticed. This next chapter of our lives is scary, confusing, exciting, and unknown. I'm personally terrified to move up a swing, and I'm sure some of you are as well. We have worked hard and have come a long way. We still have so much to learn and many experiences left ahead of us. I'll be taking my own advice when I say to not shy away from an experience that will take you outside of your comfort zone. Although Barrington will always be a home, allow yourself to experience new things, whether you stay in Barrington or travel as far away as you can. Hold your high school experiences with you, no matter the journey you might have had. These lessons will stay with you for a lifetime. If we had a few classes together, or you're one of my best friends, or the first time you heard of me was when I started talking three minutes ago, I'm proud to be among each one of you as a collective class of 2020. The colors are bright and the opportunities are endless. Swing high, class of 2020.